Hey everybody, welcome. This is part nine of the Simple Bots. And in this video, we're gonna take these nice fat bots here, which are currently losing weight and then eventually dying because they can't eat. We're gonna get them so that they can actually eat some food. So I saved this for another video because I realized the last video was getting really long and this is gonna take a little while. Uh, there's a lot of things to change and actually a bunch of different files here just to just to get the bot to be able to eat the food now all of it comes down to this method here though so is food eaten and is food eaten self all right so to check if the food is eaten or not what I have to do is for every single bot in my list of bots, I need to check every single food in the list of food. Now, this is going to take a little while, and you could imagine, for example, if you had a thousand bots and a thousand pieces of food, that means every time you call this method, which is going to be probably between 30 to 60 times a second, you're going to have to run this loop 10,000 times. So you can't put a lot of bots on, you can't put a lot of food on because it will really end up kind of, it'll end up bogging your system down. Okay. So later on when we do the simulation uh, and the evolution of the bots, we might not draw it. We might just call these and then it will run a lot faster because we're not having to draw things to the screen. Okay. But for right now, Let's go ahead and check out exactly what needs to be done. Since both the bot and the food are circles, what we need to do is check the distance from the center of both circles. So we find the center of the circle of the bot and the center of the circle of the food, and then we draw a line between those two. If that line is less than both of the circle's radiuses put together, then the bot is close enough to eat the food. It means it's overlapped somewhat. So to do that, I'm gonna do the following. First thing, I'm gonna add a variable for radius inside here. So radius is just gonna be uh, self.diameter divided by two. Okay, so that's pretty easy. I also need to change some stuff down here though, because currently, my bot is changing size based on its health. So the, the more healthy the bot is, the bigger it is. So I actually need to update each of these every time I run. So as you can see, there's actually a lot of calculations going on. I could have just put radius, I guess, self.bot. Yeah, let's just do that, it'll be easier. Radius. Okay. So this will update the diameter and the radius of the bot each time. The one thing we don't have though is we don't have a radius value for food. Later on, we might want to change the radius of the circle shape to be larger or smaller based on the food. So what I'm actually going to do is I am going to create this value here. This way we can call the food radius as well. Okay, so moving on, let's come back here. Now that both of our both our food and our bot have a radius, that'll make the calculations a little easier. Now, I don't know if you remember from the earlier video, but the X and Y coordinates of the circle shape, eh, they're not in the center of the circle as you might imagine. They're actually at the top left. So if you imagine like a, a box with a circle in it, you know, it's gonna be like, let me see if I can do something here really quick. So you've got like this, and you've got the circle in the middle. All right, that's pretty ugly. But anyways, this top left corner here, that's the coordinate. So for our other, for our, our circles, what we need to do is actually kind of move that coordinate to the center so we can measure if, you know, they're running over our food or not. So in order to check that, 
I'm gonna say if x uh, diff, I'm gonna make two variables here, the x difference and the y difference, and then I'm gonna use them in the distance formula, uh, which if you're not familiar with that in mathematics, go look the distance formula up, but you can really just think of it as the length of the hypotenuse of a triangle, so the Pythagorean theorem. That's all I'm doing is the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so the first thing I wanna check is bot x, but, oh, not box x, bot x. I need to add the radius to it, because as I just said, the x value is at the top left, so I wanna come over to the middle there. Then I'm going to subtract the same thing from food, so food.x plus food.radius. Okay, so that gives me my x difference and the y difference is gonna be equal to bot.y plus bot.radius minus food.y uh, plus food.radius. Now you don't have to actually really put these on here, but I just think it makes it look cleaner. Then we're gonna check the distance between these two, and this is where square root comes in handy. So it's the difference, whoops, x diff times to the power of two plus y diff to the power of two, and that will give us our distance. So now what we need to do is we need to use this distance to actually check if the bot is going to be close enough. So I would say if the distance of the bot is less than the the radius of the first of the bot sorry plus the radius of the food so if the distance is less than these two things put together okay that means that the bot is close enough to the food to actually eat it okay i hope that makes sense because if you have a circle up here and a circle down here, the distance is gonna be really, really big. But if the, if the circle here and another circle overlaps, that means the sum of their radiuses is smaller than the, the sum of the radiuses is, is, is smaller than the distance, I'm sorry, is larger than the distance between the two center points. So if these two are like that, then I need to say bot dot current health plus equal to food value. So we take the value of the food and put it, give it to the health of the bot. Okay, and then self dot food manager dot food dot remove food. So that looks kind of ugly there. So food manager for the individual food, this is the, sorry, for the food list, remove this food. Okay, so this up here, food. So this food and this food are not the same. I know it's a little confusing, but this is the list in here of the food itself. So the food manager, food list, and it removes that food. We're gonna add one more thing here in just a minute, but for now, uh, let's go ahead and run this and see what happens, okay? So moving around, hopefully you can see there, just ate that one there and as they eat things, they will get larger. So let's see if we can catch one in the act of actually eating. Boom, that one just ate something, got a little bit bigger, so did that one. And as these move around, there we go, ate it, didn't get larger, but let's see. Doom, doom, doom. I want you to eat something, there you go, okay. So you can watch these for a little while and you'll see that as they run over food, they will get larger. So it works just fine. Uh, the one thing we're not accounting for is this. Each of the bots has a max health, which in this case I set to 3,000, between 1,000 to 3,000. You can change it to whatever you want. What needs to happen over here is I also need to make sure, though, if the distance is less, fine, the bot can eat it. But it also, so also bot dot current health plus food dot value needs to be less than the bot max health. 
So if the bot sees a nice piece of food and it runs over that food, if eating that food is gonna make the bot more full than it can possibly be, then the bot cannot eat any more food. Okay, so that's the other thing that needs to happen there. All right, so that gets our bots eating the food. And for the most part, everything works just fine. So if we run this, you're gonna see some bots start out really big, some will eventually die, and some, if you run this for a while, some will get really big, and they'll, I mean, up to the 3,000, which is like, you know, a radius of 30. And if you let it run for a little while, eventually there'll be maybe five or six bots going around the screen eating things, and the rest will have all died out. Okay, so that's the basics of creating bots that eat stuff. The next video, we're gonna check some edge cases to make sure that we get all the bugs out of the program. And we're also gonna look at changing these values, initial values, and seeing what happens when we do that. Okay, so we might wanna actually, this time, check the speed, maybe change the speed, or we want the initial health to be uh, bigger or smaller. Or something really cool you can do, uh, which we're gonna look at, is changing the speed of the bot based on the size of the bot. So the bigger the bot is, the less, you know, the slower it moves. Or the bigger the bot is, the more food it needs in order to keep moving. So obviously if the bot's really big, it's gonna burn off food faster than, you know, half of food every second, because it has a bigger body mass to take care of. So we're gonna look at some modifications, some possible things you, could, you can do uh, in the next video. All right, so if you have any questions about what I've got working here or comments or concerns or you want to, I don't know, share your life story or whatever, leave it in the comment section on YouTube or on Left Peel and I'll get back to you. All right, uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.